HIV is such a broad field and every day, every single day, believe you me, there is new publication out on new research. And then we start, I start thinking about what we have in the country and what we have in, in our environment. And it stimulates me to start thinking about ways in which we can use the published, re published research to start looking at similar issues and similar uh, methodologies within our own environment to produce either replicate or at least it will advise us on what we're doing and learning more. So every day is a new lesson learned. I have two boys, both in the UK, so I only know relationship with boys, very little relationship with girls, but I have an excellent, uh, very um, open and honest relationship with my boys. Uh, the lessons I shared with them, so I sent him an e them an email yesterday and said, please send me uh, uh, a bullet points of what you think you learned from me and what, what I imparted on you as, as a mother. And they said, uh, education was something that you, you insisted that we have. So after high school, undergraduate is, uh, education, postgraduate education, and further education to enhance what they have learned. So education was something that uh, they could not even negotiate. And I told them that uh, people can take away whatever they can from you material, money, everything, but they can't take away your intellect and your education, and that will always remain with you. Then I always say to my children, uh, find your niche in life and your passion, right? When you go out in the world, your first job is not going to be your passion. But as you, as you start working in different departments, don't shirk if people put you from one department to another department, learn what you can, and eventually you'll find your niche and your niche, and then you develop that passion and use your passion to get where you want to be in the world. And then um, I also said to them, you know, it's not always, you can't always have what you want. So sometimes you have to learn to let go of what, something that you can't have and come back to it later in life. So you can't always have what you want at any stage in your life. It always comes and you strive for it, but it may not come at the time you want it. And lastly, um, I always encourage my boys to travel widely, understand the cultures, the people of the world. Science is not easy. However, it's very exciting and uh, Find your passion, like when you finish your undergraduate degree in science, that's not going to be enough. Find something that really interests you and pursue a master's degree or a PhD after that. And like I said, uh, you have to find that passion. It could be basic science, it could be epidemiological studies, it could be social science, it could be any of the studies, but find what you're good at and pursue that with a passion. Uh, given that my unit is so large, we have uh, currently about 185 staff. The first thing what for me was put the support system that I need and a group of dedicated team. So for example, a support team managing my finances, HR issues, quality control, laboratory, pharmacy, clinical work. So we have a good strong support team who are um, not only dedicated, but they see the bigger picture where the unit wants to go. And you have to find that right caliber of people who can see your vision and the way you want to go with it. The second thing is I don't like micromanaging. So I will not micromanage on a, on a daily basis, but I would like to keep my finger on the pulse. If there are uh, challenges that people face, um, I have an open door policy people can walk in and say, these are the things coming your way. Um, can you help us strategize it? 
and I will not compromise uh, any uh, disrespect to the communities we work in. They know that. So those are the three things that I feel that my staff, all my staff know.